Hi, this is Spanier Northwest Fight Seeds in here with the new FCFF heavyweight champ and the Alive MMA crew. What's up, buddy? Tell me about the victory. Uh, it, was, it was a tough fight. We kind of feel, uh, kind of had to feel things out early. Um, we knew coming down the second round that we were going to take him down, and we thought we had a great opportunity to finish him. Now uh, you came out. You fought a tough opponent. Obviously, you had some hands, so you're kind of. Feeling that out. Uh, talk about his hands, your training for that, and um, getting him to the ground. Well, his, his hands are, are, are phenomenally quick. They hit really, really hard. So we just had to, to close the distance real quick, make sure we didn't take any damage coming in, and then uh, not, kind of, not uh, mess around in the clinch too much, just work to get him down as quickly as possible, and just stay busy on top, wait for him to make that one mistake in the fight. A uh, mistake he did, and then the fight you did, the second it got to the ground, not only did you ground and pound, you uh, finished the fight, submission specialist. Right. Uh, talk about the submission. Well, I, I, I felt his arm get a little bit high on me, um, sitting in the half guard. When I had the opportunity, stuck my head on the other side of it. Knew I had it in tight. As soon as I got my hip down, uh, I knew it was done. Coaches, talk about your boy. Uh, don't, not too much that uh, he had already made an explanation for himself. I'll tell you what, uh, it's really rewarding as a coach and as a fighter also for training partner purposes. We get an athlete that's willing to come in. Uh, you know, five, six days a week, train three, four hours a day, take it seriously, diet, take his rest serious, his recuperation, all the mental preparation coming in. You know, they're willing to be there for their training partners as well, which means they're going to have a better camp when they come in. And, and Damien's one of two big fighters, so he's going to bring it uh, uh, to the fight every fight he comes to fight. He also brings it to class and comes hard every day. So it's, it's part of having a good crew and a good staff and like, good guys that are willing to come and put in the work in your club that's going to make your team and your crew and the fighter himself better. Now, um, I know we got another guy that's not in here. Get in there. Sorry, but uh, I just can't not have you not in there, Bill. Talk about your boy. I'm proud as hell of Damien, the Omen Martindale. Uh, I've seen the way that he's trained. It, you know, it'll show up, but he, he has good jits. You, know, you saw it a little bit with the arm triangle. He's really working out with the pro boxers, even. And it's, you saw his Muay Thai developing a real powerful kick. He's got a ton of dimensions and, a, and an outstanding base and a ton of heart. He's also a hell of a lot smarter than uh, your average bear. And I think that makes a huge difference in the way that he trains and certainly makes a difference for the club. Teaches a really good wrestling class at a lot of MMA. Um, I don't think we get a damn bit of credit for uh, his wrestling base. Maybe we help a little bit, but I mean, the man beat Brock Lesnar in a wrestling match. And he's, he's pretty good, actually. Just a, pretty, pretty good. Just a little. Just a little. Well, now you got the heavyweight title. Uh, they nice. talked a little bit about that and your next possible match. I mean, obviously, you got to go home and think about that. But, um, Can I just underline? That's the heavyweight title in the most prestigious fight organization, amateur fight organization, probably in the world. So, enough said. Like that's a pretty smart outing. That's pretty smart. All right, well, let's get on a one, two, three, a live MMA. One, two, three. Live MMA! Thank yeah. you, guys.